how to use the vending machine here we have three items on invisible glowing item frames corresponding to them are three buttons pressing them will give you an respective item for a price of course so let's try it put an emerald in the barrel it will turn on the light now you can make your selection let's go with steak light will turn off and your steak is in the same barrel the design is very space efficient now let's try putting multiple emeralds in yep system will only take one emerald at a time when you make your purchase it will give you your item then it will take another emerald from the barrel and the light will turn back on then you can buy more stuff now let's say one of the item is out of stock which in our case is the steak pressing the button will not use your emerald you won't get your refund but you can still buy something else one more thing this is not a perfect system there is an issue which believe me i tried fixing it but i couldn't i'll keep working on it and i'll update you in the future when i can but for now it's not spam proof let's say if someone put just one emerald in and press all three button really fast they will get all three items so you can use it for fun and looks but not as a serious shop how to make the vending machine first i want to show you how the entire thing works then we'll see the whole thing layer by layer feel free to pause and rewind any difficult part if there's something i couldn't explain properly ask me anything regarding the redstone in the comment section i'll try my best to explain that with that being said everything here is very simple first we look at the currency collecting system this is the oldest item filter by nims tv i think that's the oldest video i could find not the impulse sv one that's slightly newer if you can call it new impulse sv's design is slightly bigger and has overflow protection this one is a bit more compact and we don't need overflow protection it will never get overflow because it only takes one emerald at a time even if it did get overflown nothing would break so there's no point in making it overflow protected if you want to understand how it works you can check their videos for building it's pretty straightforward your input barrel then two hoppers below it in a vertical line then bottom hopper going into a storage on opposite side place a comparator from top hopper both things can be on the same side if you want to save some space but you'll have to use barrel i don't think i have to explain the whole thing block by block you can copy it now or later in the video when we'll see it layer by layer so let me just quickly explain how it works but don't forget to put 18 of your cost items in the top hopper in the first slot and one filter item in each individual remaining slot for the second part of the machine let's look at the buttons pressing the button will turn on this redstone lamp behind a solid block looking at it is an observer which would activate this dispenser if they had a solid block between them this was my solution for selecting individual item dummy 3 press it now pressing it again with extended piston all the dispensed item will go through this hopper line to the front barrel where you can collect them now how does the piston extends when you have 18 cost and 4 filter item in our top hopper comparator gives the output of 1 but when it has 19 cost and 4 filter items it gives the output of 2 the increased power will now go to this repeater which would further increase it to 15 then send it through this solid block below the solid block this redstone line go back to the top hopper locking it so the cost item stays there on machine's right redstone power will travel upward pushing all the blocks in front of this sticky piston in its place to make a successful purchase and from the same line these two repeaters and a redstone dust will power up this block turning on the adjacent redstone lamp for the last part we have a comparator checking this second hopper whenever an item will go through said hopper This comparator will power the redstone dust below the solid block. Detecting that state change, this observer will activate the sticky piston to pull the power block back, unlocking the hopper so cost item can go through. Then, as soon as the redstone dust depowers, it activates the piston again, putting the power block back to its place, giving only just enough time for one item to go through. Then, same process will repeat if you have more coins in barrel, or when you put some manually. Now how about I show you some do's and don'ts. I tried my best to explain the whole thing. I hope I did a good job. Now I want to show you some things you can do differently when making it yourself. First of all, the whole thing is vertically stackable. Make it as high as you want. Then these three hoppers on the back don't need to be here. You can close off this part by adding a block around it. So the items will just fall to the bottom hopper. And you can also add more storage to it like this. 
Second, old button has to be made of stone or black stone. You can't use wooden buttons, they would break some stuff. When putting just one emerald in, they would work normally, give you one item. But if you put multiple emeralds in, they give you two items because they have a slightly longer cooldown. I mean, you could use it for double purchase if you want. Call it a feature, not a bug. All these replaced blocks don't have to be solid blocks. You can use whatever you want, but the rest have to be solid blocks. You can make the visible part just one block column. Now, how small is that? Just in a corner of your room. But you have to redirect some stuff around, like extend the light one block ahead, add a few hopper for input, and change the output to here like this. Also, you have to add an item filter to this hopper. And lastly, when making a floor around it, this block has to either be a top slab or a stair like this. If you place a full block, it will break the item filter. And here you can't place anything, you have to hide it by placing a block above it. You can also add a barrel, call it a trash can. But you know what I want to do? Add a gift box. If you buy an item, it has a small chance to give you a custom player head. Let's try it. No. No. Two hours later. Ah, there we go. This video is already long enough. I'll show you how it's done some other time, if you want. Who knows, all this might not be as cool as I think it is. So let me know if you like any of this. And finally, how about I show you the layer by layer design showcase I promised. Even though it doesn't look like it, it seems like the whole build is 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. So I'll show each slide 7 seconds with a timer. Feel free to pause at any moment. Well, now I got nothing more to say, so feel free to mute me. Or subscribe, I guess. I at least wanna get monetized if possible, so... I can make more videos like this. Also check out the channel. I have some cool builds with different themes. There are some data packs I made. I also have a few more redstone videos. Like the one where you can turn on a beacon with a lever. It also plays a little note. I also have a gameplay series of a custom map which I'm planning to finish. I started it because I like the map and I made a pretty good semi auto farm to get infinite currency. Which again, I never saw anyone else use it. Also it's supposed to be like a hardcore comeback type map. But my idea is to find the easiest possible way to deal with everything. So it's going pretty laid back. For future stuff, I also have a few data packs prepared for next video. Sorry for rambling on for so long. Also thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.